there's a scene where I uh, I'm being uh, I'm starting to be taken advantage of by these group of boys and I turn around and I grab this the trunks open I grab a tennis racket from the trunk and I just go off and go into this guy um, and well, one, I've never done anything like that before. And two, uh, you know, just uh, learning all the technical ways to go about a fight scene and, and, and just, it's, I grew up a dancer and for me, it feels very much like you're running a dance routine, you know, start here, pick this up, move here on this count and then you go and, you know, do this for three seconds and move into this and then, with this long hair that I have uh, for this movie, it's flying everywhere. Glee's Diana Agron will be trading in her pom-poms for violently shattered tennis rackets as she takes on the role of Robert De Niro's misfit daughter in Luc Besson's mob comedy, The Family. Agron describes the film as an underdog story that everyone can relate to one way or another. When I read the script, I just thought it was so fun. Uh, you know, especially that fish out of water, that the feeling of an underdog is something that has been ever present in, in quite a few m movies and, and you know definitely the television show that, that I'm on, but um, it's a very universal feeling. Uh, you can feel it 10 times a day, you can feel it one time a day, but it's going to happen to everybody throughout their entire life. And this in such a grand scheme of things, you know, being in this very small, provincial town in France, uh, having such different uh, ways of, of, you know, or examples of normalcy. It's, it's just, I knew it would be something very, very fun to play. And so automatically when I was reading it, I could kind of see it all playing out of my head and wondering what Luke would do with it. The film takes place in the French region of Normandy, which is where the Blake family is relocated after De Niro's character snitches on the mob. You can catch the family in theaters now. He's the only plumber within a radius of 20 miles. But he disrespected us and he made you wait on him, honey. Jeez, oh, honey, I survived. And you know, the guy was trying to rip me off, so put yourself in my shoes. Well, I definitely wouldn't have beat him up.